Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review, and today we're taking a look at this Marvel Legends Hydro Man action figure. And I just want to take a quick look at this figure because it's a figure that I've mentioned before on the channel. Previously, we took a look at the older release Scorpion Marvel Legends, and on the back of that box, it showed a fantastic wave. And I spoke about how I wanted to pick up a lot of figures from that wave and I kind of missed my opportunity and one of those figures was Hydro Man. I wanted to pick this thing up when it came out but it just wasn't really a priority at the time and I thought I would pick it up later but then it just never really lost its value and it only went up in price. I could never see it for a good price essentially and basically after I said that like a week later this guy popped up on eBay, I won him an auction, just a great deal and he's now here in the collection so I wanted to take a quick look at him here on the channel. Before we do guys let me know down in the comment section below what your favourite more kind of underrated Spider-Man villain is because you don't really hear a lot about Hydro Man but when you look up some of the artwork and comics that Hydro Man's appeared in they're pretty cool, you know, he's a great Spider-Man villain, so let me know any villains that you believe are underrated, any more obscure villains, down in the comment section below. While you're down there, if you could do me a massive favour, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and let's not wait any longer, let's take a closer look at Hydro Man. So I believe this figure originally came with more kind of water accessories that went around his legs, Unfortunately, I didn't get them in this listing, but not a big deal, not too worried about it. The figure itself looks great. I've always really liked the head sculpt on this thing. I think the hair looks really good, and uh, the face sculpt's really nice as well. Uh, as I mentioned, this came out in the same wave as the older Scorpion figure. So I'll find out what year that would have been, but I think this is a really good head sculpt from Hasbro and I remember at the time being pretty impressed by it. And we get a kind of standard body to go along with it, we get these really nice jeans, love the colour on them, good sculpt, we get these shoes as well, these boots, and once again, nice sculpt, good colour. They could have maybe, you know, changed the laces up a wee bit instead of having it all brown, added a bit of tread or whatever, but I will take it and we get this black shirt to go along with it. And then most of the, <laughs> what your eyes drawn to are these arms here. And I don't think they're bad at all. I mean, it's going to be hard creating a sort of water effect on an action figure and I think this is a pretty good attempt it looks really good and you get this big fisted water arm and this more open grab like water arm and the biggest I I don't know if it's going to be on every figure but the articulation in these arms is pretty bad and I don't mean the articulation I mean just kind of these arms are loose, uh, to put it pretty bluntly. I, I, I don't know. Like, so you can move them around and he's gonna stay in position a bit more, but yeah, I, I want to get a good picture of Hydro Man punching Spider Man here, and I cannot get his arm to stay up. Like, I can get it, well, I was getting it up the way, like there, so that's not too bad, but if I want it straight forward, it is not happening. Um, going back to articulation, you can kind of move it up at the top of the bicep there, but yeah, there's not really much else. You can move it at the rest as well, but there's nothing. There's no kind of um, elbow joint there. But yeah, the biggest bummer is the range of movement. And um, this one's a bit better. I can sort of get in, get it out in front of them, but. Yeah, it's not the best, and it was something I wasn't expecting. I don't know if maybe I missed something in the eBay listing. The, this guy's arms were loose. If you have this figure, let me know down in the comment section if the figure you have, if the arms are loose, because it is a bit of a bummer. Um, I really wanted to get some cool poses going on, and it's going to be really hard to do. I don't know if maybe I stick some blue tack in his arm or something that it might do the trick for a photo let's see let's try it out so if i'm sticking some like tack in here which would be really easy just to kind of blur out in a photo 
Now, now his bloody ab crunch is falling. <sighs> yeah, bit of a nightmare, and it was something I wanted to address in a video. If you were like me, wanting to pick this figure up, it's definitely something to be aware of, and bit of a bummer. Comparing this Hydro Man to some other Marvel Legends figures, we have Hydro Man next to Sandman and I definitely need to bust this guy's accessories out and get some cool ass photos going on. And um, we can see that these guys actually share pretty much the exact same mould. Um, same torso, same trousers, same boots. So it's kind of crazy, this Sandman came out a few years after this figure here and they're still using the same parts but it does work well so to be honest I can't really blame them and I do think they look really good next to one another. Uh, great sculpts on both of these guys and yeah as I said need to get some of the sand effects going and recreate some cool comic covers. For another Marvel Legends villain comparison, here is our Doc Hawk from the Amazon 2 pack and yeah, this Hydro Man's definitely going to fit in well to your Marvel Legends villain collection, he doesn't look dated or anything like that. I think he's a, he's a cool villain, it's just a shame about what I've said here in the arms. Let's see him next to a couple of Spider-Man figures, we have the Amazing Friends Spider-Man and the animated series Spidey and... I'll also put in the ring of your vows, Spider-Man, see what works best. This Spidey's standing a wee bit smaller than him. And yeah, I don't I think that's pretty cool. Like in a lot of the comics you see Hydro Man is quite a big character, he's towering over Spidey, and I think that is a good side-by-side -side comparison there. Then we've got the animated series Spidey, and I actually do like the look of these two next to one another. Um, I've not taken a, nearly enough pictures with animated Spider-Man so he might be the Spidey that I use or will it be the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man? Yeah, I actually do like the look of them two next to one another as well. So Hydro-Man is fitting in very nicely with uh, the Spidey collection. And so there we have it for this Hydro Man Marvel Legends action figure and I did just want to take a quick look at him here on the channel because this is a figure that I've wanted for quite some time and I'm really happy to finally add him to the collection. I do want to know though about the arms, if you have this figure is it the same uh, with yours? Is it just the case that the arms are too heavy, that the articulations loosened off over time? Was it like this out of the box? I mean, I doubt it. It couldn't have been like this out of the box. But yeah, let me know what your Hydro Man's like uh, in the arm area because that is a bit of a bummer. But overall, I'm happy with it. I think this is a great looking Marvel Legends. I think they've done well to capture the look of Hydro Man from the comics uh, as an accurate portrayal. And I think they've done pretty well with um, the look of this thing. So yeah. I'm happy with it, wee bit bummed out with the arms, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. While you're down there guys, if you could do me a favour as always and hit that like button, if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below where I'm definitely going to be posting some pictures of this guy fighting Spider-Man if I can get the arms in a decent position. And uh, feel free to hop on over to my channel page as well, there are plenty of other figure reviews out on there, it would mean a lot if you could check them out and it means a lot that you've checked this video out right here. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll catch you on the flip flop later. Cheers.